How Any monkey can just stand in front of the camera and be kooky. I have to edit it all together. Any monkey can press a record button. Not it's not recording. just recording. You gotta set the, the scene the and same then you gotta. Shit in Windows Movie Maker. Right, fucking oh. prove it, motherfucker! Come on. Fucking. <laughs> so <laughs> using episode. text within gaming videos are pretty common. Everybody does it. It adds color to the scene. It's gonna feel funnier, richer, and enhances the viewing experience. Charlie Squadron, you copy? Over. <laughs> But what interests me about the work of Soviet Womble is the craft, and knowing how to put it just the right way. Today I want to go through the techniques he uses and how I think it separates him from the literally thousands of other gamers. This flashbang will go first. Oh shit, what? Nice flash, <laughs> so Shut made. up! Absolutely it's fine! The flash. first thing you have to know about how he uses text is just how simple it is. In a world where gamers are constantly animating the text and using memes and JPEGs to add emphasis, Soviet Womble willfully disregards this and uses simple words in an identical font. In other words, he uses it like subtitles. This is nothing new. When you have an entire cohort of people speaking within the same team speak, Using subtitles are convenient because it automatically makes you focus on the one thing that needs to be heard. Take a look at this scene from CSGO Bullshittery Part 4. You need to get him into the, into the ZF clan for diversity. Did you hear a second conversation in the background? No? Well, let me show you again, but this time with the sound isolated. It's good. We can need to get him into the, into the ZF clan for diversity. The next question in editing text is knowing when to articulate. And this is subjective. There's no right answer. Soviet Womble tends to use it as a focusing mechanism. Like when you need an emphasis on something funny. <laughs> and this is an exclusive. Other gamers use it too. What do you call a magic owl? Houdini. <laughs> it's a 1v1 now. Oh yeah, it's always been actually. No, it hasn't. You've been cheating. But what makes Womble stand out is how he chooses to articulate. The text can come from different directions, it can come in different sizes and colors, and because he keeps his font styles minimal and ubiquitous, every one of these creative decisions become extra effective. Like you'll notice every move. Nothing is wasted. For instance, when you have a bunch of people annoying you at the same time and you need to make a joke out of it, you can do this. Sitting in the stream right now, if you'd like to come and join me. You, uh, uh, you, you said privacy, didn't you? You said privacy. Or when Cyanide says something funny by suddenly changing tones, you can do this. Cyanide's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Maybe you need to emphasize on the volume of a speech? Oh no, this mod was a terrible mistake. Sometimes to see how Womble articulates, you have to see it done incorrectly. This is a bullshittery episode edited by a fan using the exact same textiles. You first. MBK could be in there, you go, f you go first. Oh, okay, you go second, you go second! Now, let's watch the exact same moment, but this time edited by Soviet Womble, and see if you can tell the difference. You first. Uh. MBK could be in there, you, you go first. Oh, okay, you go second, you go second. To keep it simple, let's just compare these two clips side by side. If you watch closely, you can see this fan knows the exact techniques to edit it just like Womble, but doesn't know when to separate when the subtitles need to be shown word by word, or in one go. In contrary, Womble knows exactly when something needs to just be simply heard, or when things need isolated emphasis. Who threw that fucking stun grenade? Don't throw as you fucking go. There are people around the fucking building. Are you fucking idiots? Never mind. The third aspect of a Soviet Womble edit is knowing when to be invisible. Like when to stop tracking the text so it can make you focus on other animations. While you're all here, do feel free to follow me on Twitter. www.twitter.com slash zfcyanide or Twitch slash cyanide plays games. The last thing, and probably the most difficult to master, is precision. Womble doesn't cheat. He keyframes every text and animates everything with persistence. Like you know that smooth looking perfectly tracked over the head subtitles that is ubiquitous in every one of his videos? Well, guess what? He animates every single frame. That's right. If it's a 60 frames video, he's keyframing every subtitle 60 times a second. And that time when Cyanide had a sing-off with Edberg, that's him animating every single word of a song separately just so they can fly on the screen just the right way. And he knows that these details will pay off, like when he created individual pseudo thumbnails from Gmod's sandbox to mock YouTubers, and then suddenly shows who he's mocking specifically. The fucking 
face because he just won't stop putting his damn face all over the thumbnails, PewDiePie. Sorry, um, random YouTubers. <laughs> Would you stop doing it? It's so bad that you don't even do it. The more I watch Soviet Womble, the more I am amazed by just the flawlessness of the craft of putting things just the way it needs to be. I can literally rewatch every video in this essay and I'm confident that I won't be able to find any cuts not made for a specific reason, any animations not carefully put together for a particular effect, and none of these effects will be ever proven ineffective. As an editor myself, I respect and admire this sort of craft. And I think the work of Soviet Womble should be a textbook to anyone looking forward to achieve this craft just the right way. Beset on all sides by idiots.